Guys, this is Nathan, and I'm bringing you part six of the FPS tutorial series. And uh, this part is probably the one you've all been waiting for. And this is where we're gonna actually make the gun shoot and hit objects over. So uh, the, I actually had to um, uh, relook over the script before I did this. So I'm, I might have to look at my notes again. I've got them right here. So. There's that, and uh, I'm just going to take some time to show you guys my site. Um, it's at sagedread.net63.net, and uh, we've got, it's updated daily. We've got a bunch of new tutorials in there. We've got some uh, C++ tutorials and C Sharp in there. We've got one of those. We've got some music in here, and of course, all my FPS tutorials. So, uh... The site's going up really fast. We've got 25 users so far. And uh, our Anomaly game is going really well, as w uh, really good as well. So, uh, enough of me talking about the site, and uh, let's get started. So, in the last tutorial, I had to cut you guys off, and we were, we were going to make a new script, but I have decided to uh, keep this in the bullet.py script that we already created. So, uh, don't create a new script. <laughs> so, uh, here we have made our ray that was right in front of the gun. So, we need to click on that. We're going to make a new sensor. It's going to be a ray sensor. We're going to call it ray. Property, we're going to set it to object. going to set the range to 150. And for mine it is the negative x-axis which we just want it to point forward the ray so there we have it we need to check the dot 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 we're going no not that <laughs> we're going to add a actuator this is going to be a uh, edit object actuator we're going to go to add object and we're gonna type in bullet now this is the bullet this is just the cube that we made in I think the third tutorial and remember we set the we set the um, the bounds really high and we make sure you've got the actor dynamic and the radius is really high so uh, back to our back to our ray here or, or ray empty. We're gonna set the time on this actuator to two, and we are gonna call this. Um, let's call it force. So now we need to hold shift and select our cube, and now we're gonna hold shift again and select our little empty that's right next to the gun, or it's our other empty. So we see the bullet.py up here we're going to connect this up there and we're going to connect this down here so uh, now let's go back to our bullet.py script in the text editor we need to whoops, I said those before sorry we need to add a we need to type in right in our sensors area we need to go ray equals cont dot get sensor and then ray. We're not going to do dot is positive for this one. And now we need to go back to our actuators and we're going to type in force equals cont dot get actuator force. Alright, so now we need to go to the very bottom of the script. We're going to type in if ray dot is positive then object I'm just capitalizing it all equals equals ray dot get hit object And now, right under that, we need to put if fired, then P 
EOS equals ray dot get hit position position. All right, and then we're gonna type in game logic dot add active actuator. We're gonna type in four. Wait, did we? Oh, we need to do that. <laughs> oh no, we did do that. Sorry, I'm going crazy here. Actuator. We're gonna type in force. Remember, we capitalized it, and then we're gonna type in true. So now we need to do um, four or. Er, Bullet. Uh, bull bullet equals con or er, equals force dot get last created object. And now bullet dot set position. We're gonna put in pods or POS. So now let's try or we need to first add something to get shot at. So I'm just going to add a cube. Just any cube anywhere. Make sure actor dynamic and rigid body is checked. We're gonna set the bounds to convex whole polytope. We're gonna add a property, call it object going to set it to bool and okay so now we have our we've made it shoot so we've got that so I'm just going to make the field bigger and see it only shoots if you are so you can go on either side of it it, it doesn't matter but right now we can see these little boxes shooting out and we honestly do not want that so we're gonna make that thing invisible so let's go back into layer two we are going to whoops layer two we're gonna go into edit mode face we're gonna select the faces and we are going to go to UV or er, uh, first we need to texture to it. This is in editing, which is F9. Now we can go and select the faces and go to texture faces tab and just go to invisible. And we're going to do this for all of the sides of this cube. Okay, so now we've got that so we can get it edit mode and now we can try it again and voila we do not need we do not have those flying boxes that just look kinda retarded so I am just going to test this out a bit I'm just gonna copy or shift D shift D shift D and I'm gonna show you guys that this isn't just like this is actually pretty close to socials FPS tutorial I did a little bit different and uh, now we need to we're going to just make it a little bit more realistic so we're gonna go and we're gonna select our we're gonna select our ray uh, empty again and we are going to or it's anim sorry it's the one right next to the gun that controls the animation we're going to set fire. We're going to set this little uh, F thing here. I'm going to set it to, say, like 35. And that is just going to control the fire rate. And so now it's a little bit more realistic. So there's that. So uh, I hope it helped. And uh, thanks for watching.